Producing pellets right in the field? Yes. This vision has now turned into reality. The Primos 5000 from Crone is the world's first mobile pellet harvester and on top of that delivers hourly throughputs of up to 5 tonnes. Primost harvests hay, straw and lucerne and produces the pellets right in the field. At the same time, equipped with a bale shredder, Primos operates also as a stationary machine to pay its keep all year round. But let's start by watching the machine in its capacity of a mobile harvester. The 2.35-meter Easy Flow pickup gathers the material loss-free. The leading retainer ensures the material flows in a consistent stream to the feed rotor. This passes it on to the belt. At this point, any foreign objects, like stones, drop into the gap between the rotor and the feeding belt, so they will not enter the machine. The belt feeds the material into the machine and between the two contra-rotating pelleting drums, the so-called die rollers. Each of these presses the material at extremely high pressures into holes in the opposite roller, producing 16 mm diameter pellets which drop into the inside of the drums from where they are removed by an auger. The length of the pellets is variable and is set by adjusting two scrapers. The auger feeds the pellets to an elevator which takes them up to a sieving drum where debris and dust are removed and returned to the feed belt for repeated pelleting. The finished pellets are conveyed to the hopper where they are cooled by a blower. Primos uses nothing but high pressure to make the pellets. No additives are used and the material is not chopped ahead of the pelleting process. This explains the enormous savings in input power of this machine over traditional pellet mills. Moreover, as the material is not chopped, its structure is not destroyed. The residual moisture of the material should be less than 16%. But if it is too dry, you can add water to improve adhesion. At the end of a day, you apply some oil on the drums to prevent the pellets left inside the hole stick here. Water and oil are stored in tanks at the rear of the machine. Primos can press up to five tons of pellets per hour. To utilize this capacity, the machine should be operated by a 350 to 500 HP tractor. Primos is naturally ISOBUS compatible. It is operated either from the CCI 800 or the CCI 1200 terminal, or from any existing ISOBUS compatible tractor terminal. The hopper is emptied via a foldable elevator that unloads the pellets to a chaser bin or trailer. At bulk densities of 600 to 700 kilograms per cubic meter, Pellets take up to three to five times less storage space than straw bales, so more material can be transported in one haul, making logistics, especially long distance, cost-effective and eliminating the entire harvest chain that is necessary for bales. But Primos can also be used as a stationary machine, which gives you flexibility in wet weather and outside the harvest season. For stationary use, the machine is given a separate bale shredder which can handle all bale sizes. The twine is automatically removed and collected in a bin. The table that feeds the bale to the shredder has a length of 7.50 meters and is long enough to accommodate several bales. It is driven hydraulically and features automatic top load control that manages the throughput relative to the present load on the die rollers. Four hydraulic cutting rotors shred the bales and feed the material into the machine. This technology ensures that the machine can be used nearly to its full potential when used as a stationary mill. What are the pellets used for? Well, for a great many things. First up, they make great fuel. 2.5 kilograms of straw pellets substitute for one litre of fuel oil, meaning their fuel value is similar to that of wood. But unlike wood, straw is much more readily available. Many thousand hectares of straw are left unexploited in Germany alone. Further applications for pellets are livestock farming and horse keeping. Cattle farmers and horse keepers appreciate their high liquid absorbing capacity. 
one kilogram of pellets absorb up to four liters of water. This saves a lot of bedding material. Apart from that, pellets are very easy to handle. Also, pellets are dust-free and absorb slurry. Pig farmers use pellets to add structure to the ration and as toys for the animals. After all, pressed at extremely high temperatures, pellets are nearly sterile. Another area of application is poultry farming. Experience in hen houses has been very good. Pellets improve animal health because the bedding is far more lasting and the clean floor improves the quality of the eggs. In dairy farming, hay and lucerne pellets replace costly protein feeds. Crone Primos 5000 harnesses existing and yet untapped resources and turns them into valuable commodities. This makes the machine an intriguing option for contractors and straw and animal feed traders. Produce pellets right in the field with Crone Primos 5000. Explore new opportunities.